Hi, I'm Yasmin Hussein, and this is your weekly motoring news. Signalling a return to the track for the first time since its Le Mans victory in 2003, Bentley unveiled the Continental GT3 at the Paris Motor Show. Based on the GT Speed, the race car is being developed by a motorsport team at the company's headquarters in Crewe. Equipped for endurance as well as outright speed, the GT3 will be eligible to compete in a range of race series up to and including 24-hour marathons. BMW unveiled the Concept Active Tourer at the Paris Motor Show, previewing its entry into the premium compact segment. The sporty MPV design features a raised seating position and a spacious interior for both driver and passengers. The concept is powered by a three-cylinder petrol engine coupled with an electric motor, generating a combined output of 190 brake horsepower, enough to propel it to 60 miles per hour from rest in under eight seconds. Paris saw the world debut of Seat's crisply styled new five-door Leon, the first of a new range that will also include a three-door and a sports tourer estate. It's available to order now with prices starting at £15,670 on the road. Just across the hall, Skoda pulled the wraps off the all-new Rapid. The practical five-door hatch will sit between the smaller Fabia and the Octavia in the revised Skoda lineup when it goes on sale in November, priced from £12,900. The Panamera Sport Turismo concept is likely to preview the styling of the replacement for the current Porsche Panamera. The plug-in hybrid can be driven at speeds of up to 130 km per hour without the internal combustion engine and to distances of over 30 km. There's up to 416 horsepower on tap, which can launch it from rest to 60 miles per hour in under 6 seconds. Despite the mighty performance, the Panamera Sport Turismo emits less than 82 grams per kilometer of CO2. The striking LFCC concept car previews the forthcoming launch of a new mid-size coupe and reinforces, says Lexus, a commitment to creating more engaging cars that are attractively styled. It is fitted with a new 2.5-litre full hybrid powertrain which will soon be introduced in the Lexus model range. The four-cylinder petrol engine is mated to a compact high-output electric motor and is targeted to deliver CO2 emissions of less than 100 grams per kilometer. The compact SUV sector is seeing strong growth in an otherwise fairly flat market, so unsurprisingly, the majority of concepts on show in Paris were of the SUV variety. If you could bear to look at the paint for long enough, Peugeot's 2008 previewed a production car which will hit the road next year. Audi's Crosslane is set to give us an indication of the design direction for future Q models, while Sanyong's EXIV showcases the Korean firm's electric vehicle technology. Last but not least, Suzuki's pretty S-Cross concept will be hitting showrooms in 2013. That's it for now. We'll have more of the latest motoring news stories for you next week.